Hi folks, welcome to Cause Vaping Reviews once again and welcome to the video. Uh, review time again, this time it's for a uh, rebuildable dripping atomizer with Squonker. Uh, this is the Fountain V2 clone. Uh, I say the clone loosely uh, because uh, the Fountain V2, uh, I believe, I can't find much information on the original, I believe it might have been a German design originally but uh, I can't find any uh, authentics or originals of this at all anywhere uh, but it is uh, marketed as a as, as a clone and this will be available this is available not will be is available uh, from uh, www.boldvape.co.uk uh, John Bold of Bold Vape sent this on to me very kindly thank you John for review now I've got it attached it's got the Snow Wolf on logo on, or a Snow Wolf type logo on it. I've got it on my Snow Wolf Limited Edition, and I've got it currently coiled, dual coiled at to 0.29 ohms. It's showing on here. It's 0.3 ohm, roughly, and I've got it filled up with some uh, three milligram snake oil, and I just have a little squonk at it, and then I'll just check. I'll just give you a overview of the performance then i'll run through some specs and then we'll go down for close-ups and then we'll come back up from the close-ups and have a year uh, we'll rate it and stuff so here's a here's how it uh, performs guys both airflow slots are open fantastic flavor And a nice airflow on this it's not overly it's not you can lunk hit it really nicely but there's, there's a little bit of tightness there to it as well that sort of that i like although you can still you know it's, it's very uh although it's an open uh airy drawer it's not it's not overly airy and it's a, it's got a really nice it's got what i would call a, a bang on airflow As you can see, when you when you when you because it's an RDA, like I say, it's your called RDA at the top. I'll just show you. Just take the glass off it very carefully, like so. And obviously, we'll go down for close-ups. Make sure that's on above the coils. Uh, once she starts getting dry, you can just squeeze the the bottle, and which shoots liquid up onto your coils through the center post. I've got it running it to 40 watts, that's all. 0.3.41 volts through to it. As you can see, fantastic stacks of vapor. The flavor is immense on it. It really is very good. Now it's available, like I say, from Bold Vape. Uh, the new stock is arriving on Tuesday, the 20th of October. He's out of stock currently at the moment. Uh, he sold the first batch. Uh, quite a popular RDA this is. Or RTA, whatever you want to call it. I call it a squonkable RDA. And it, it comes in the package like... It comes in this package. And I'll go down for close-ups like we say. There's a little instruction manual on the back, etc. Now, in this package, you will get one Fountain V2 style RTA rda one glass tank uh, spare glass tank that is uh, one screwdriver two screws and three o-rings as spares it's a 22 mil device it has a height of 70.5 millimeters uh, you can only use this drip tip it comes with because of the way that the airflow is at the top we'll show you on close-ups so you can't put your own drip tip on it, but you wouldn't want to anyway because it is a really comfortable drip tip and really nice drip tip. Uh, it has a it has a dual centre post as well for your for easy coil uh, easy coil ability as I call it. Uh, so it's like a four screw uh, post, and it's uh, it's stainless steel in colour. So what we'll do is we'll go down. It's stainless steel in colour and stainless steel at it, that is. Uh, we'll go down for close-ups and we'll show you this at close-ups. Uh, 
it's a first for me to be squonking. I've never squonked before, even with a box mod. But this gives you the ability to use devices like this and still be able to squonk. It's really innovative and I've never seen it before and it works really, really well. I mean, I just squonk it with that finger there a couple of times and then... Where you go and it, the flavour is bang on because it's such a short throw from the coils to the drip tip and the airflow is coming in directly to it and, and above the coils it's uh, it's just innovative and what we'll do now we're going to have close-ups so i can show you more close-ups so we'll see you down at the table guys all right guys here we are with the fountain v2 this is what this is how the, it comes in the package it's just a simple cardboard package uh, mine's a little bit ripped but uh, that's that was me getting it open uh, comes with a few instructions on the back you can see what it is let's just get F turn manual focus on there you go so you got your mouthpiece your glass cap your atomizer base your e-liquid bottle and the 510 thread tells you how to fill it you just fill the bottle up and then you screw it back onto the top etc once you use a guide now we'll just undo the package and it's just simple undo and slide it out and that's what you get in the package guys and that's your fountain v2 that's your spare glass which i won't get out in fact I will, yes i will i'll get it out just show you the thickness of the glass there we go nice flamed edges no sharp edges on there at all and a good good addition i would have liked it to have come with a uh, a spare bottle which i'll show you in a minute it's got some there's a spare pack here uh three o-rings two spare screws and a famous blue screwdriver so that's that there and then we'll get the uh atty out we'll put that to one side now this is the atty guys it, now obviously if yours comes coiled and juiced up in the bottle send it back uh mine's obviously been used i've got it in use now so we'll start at the top uh no we won't what we'll do is we'll start with the base of it because right simple you just unscrew like i've just done and this 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 is your top part this is your base now nice design on here let's just go into manual again little snow wolf type design on there it has uh, ml markings on the side up to five mil really good etchings uh, adjustable 510 let me get my screwdriver so you can adjust this 510 out slightly if you needed to uh, but I've, you don't need to really it has quite a biggish 510 without adjusting that so we'll just tighten that back up again now this is a, a a chamber within a chamber if you know what i mean now effectively this threading here which is quite fine threading so be very careful when you're screwing on and off but it is it is it isn't buttery smooth but it's really it, it, it is good uh this threading here is and uh, now this threading and this inner chamber here is effectively your positive going through the rda to your positive post now the 510 as you can see is screwed into the center of this and if you can see here this is the inner chamber here this is the outer chamber which is your decorative aesthetic chamber this is the bit that does all the the, the regulation comes up uh, now this chamber looking at it if you can tell there it's although it's coat it's got like a uh, a little bit of a coating on it but this is definitely brass or some sort of other metal because i can see the finish underneath it there it's more of a goldy color here but this chamber sends the uh, voltage through once it's connected to your five to your, the 510 is connected to a, a device 
the fact that the power comes through and up and around all this chamber which is connected to this part here which we'll look at now so that's how that works so effectively if you think if you're looking at an RDA an RDA 510 pin that goes through to the 510 post this in a chamber is effectively acting as your 510 pin so that's that guys and there's a looks like there's a there's a hole in here but that's your insulator that insulates the that insulates this outside body to the or the base of this to the so stop it shorting out on this when it's attached so there is a plastic insulator underneath here so that's that guys this is your five mil bottle little bottle it's filled up at the moment with some uh, liquid so what we'll do is just take that out hopefully I don't drop it everywhere could have done with a spare one of them really just in case because you're squonking it all the time hopefully it, it says very it says very soft so hopefully it won't crack it might do over time but hopefully we can get some sourced before then uh, before it starts cracking but yeah it's a uh, nice little <laughs> it's only a plastic tank so not much to say about that let's give this a little wipe this pipe right this is your pipe that sits inside your tank that sit that when, when you're squonking it squonks up and this comes off like so and then that's your bottom feeding hole and then you've got a uh, got a nice finish in there to be honest it looks to be let's just get in right up close as you can see you can see the, the uh, machine markings on the finish in there so it's quite nicely finished in there this external threading that uh, and all this part here all this part is your uh, positive because uh, your, your center post will be uh, screwed to this inside I'll show you that in a second but this is how it gets the the power through to your coils this threading is all your positive and there's a little o-ring on top of here as well here so that's that's that let's take the drip tip off now the drip tip has three holes so you can single coil this three uh, notches should I say not holes and it's a top airflow so what happens is the air is drawn in through these two uh, holes on the sides uh, when that's on like so so you'd line up your you'd line up these indents and then you can close it off to whatever you want and have it as tight or as airy as you like or you can just use it in single coil mode mode and have one all blocked and one all open so that's uh, blocked and that's open there so that would be single coil but this is coiled dual so that's your drip tip that is also uh, Dalrin stainless steel outer and it's Dalrin inside as well so that's that now let's just take the glass off the glass comes off it, it's not it's not loose at all well, it does come off without any effort and obviously this is all coiled up with a just a normal cantful and there you can see the what I was on about with the easy build uh, with your dual positive center post so you can uh, put screw one coil down first then screw your other coil down after rather than having one single hole in the center post center positive post quite a deepish juice well juice well it's as deep as this out of here and what I'll show you it working in a second when I get it screwed back together again and it's just a, a normal four post build there guys and I've just got some Japanese cotton in there 0.3 ohms that is using 26 gauge cancel so what we do is and I'm not taking that glass off the top of here because this o-ring in here you can take it off but it was a pain to get the glass back on because the o-ring kept moving up as I was pulling it back on so that's a little negative for me but what I'm doing now is that because this is quite a tight fit anyway 
this uh, I'm just leaving that on and I'm washing it out like that as is and it's got a nice finish inside there uh, to the stainless steel base at the bottom and how the airflow holes are in each one of them airflow holes is roughly about two mil in diameter now let me just get my little spongebob ruler and that hole your drip tip hole is 10 mil across so that's it guys so what we'll do is i'll, I'll go back into autofocus and i'll uh, just put it back together but what i'll do first is i'll show you the squonking action Just put the uh, sorry, I'm just putting the bits back together again. So that's that. And then what you do is fill that up. Let's just fill it up now. Dead easy. Just fill it up with some of your liquid of choice. And put your screw your deck onto the bottle. Not don't like over tighten it when you've got your deck screwed onto your bottle and then you get your, your bottom base and you screw that into your base like so until it's solid and then what we'll do is we'll give it a little wipe because it's a bit juicy off camera sorry guys doing these things you get your hands get all uh, juiced up right we're back so what i'll do now is while it's off, while the glass is off i'll screw it onto my uh snow wolf and i'll show you the squonking action you can see there that's how just slight little presses and it works absolutely fantastic and then you put your, your line your air holes up with your coils. You put your glass on. You can turn it round if it's not level, quite level or not where you want it. And then put your drip tip on. Uh, obviously lining up your indents on the drip tip to your atomizer. And then that's it. And that's the Fountain V2, guys. A great, great RDA. So we'll go up top. We'll have a vape on it, talk about it, and rate it. So we'll see you up the top, guys. Thanks. Hi, folks. Welcome back to the top. Uh, like I said, like you see in the close-ups, it's it's a great little atty. Uh, very innovative. Never seen nothing like it before. I had, uh, once John had told me about it and uh, he, he was sending it me on, I was quite excited, actually, to try it out. And... The flavour it gives out is pretty, pretty good. Uh, in fact, it's very good. Let's just take a toke on it. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, I've only got, you know, like I say, I've got uh, a normal... Uh, can't full build in there 0 0.3 ohms no no uh, you know coil porn as they call it in there it's just a normal can't full build and it's chucking the flavor and the vapor really really well uh one thing i must say when you first get this out here uh, when i first got it out the packages it was uh and or did have a lot of machine oil left on it uh the smell as well was there so i ran it through my sonic cleaner uh, a few times if you haven't got a sonic cleaner just warm water, uh, warm soapy water, bit tiny bit of fair liquid in, or if even better, leave it in uh, a little bit of uh, hot water with a touch of lem a touch of fairy liquid in there. Leave it in there overnight. Uh, you can clean it with the uh, cheap vodka as well. Uh, that does get it off, uh, but please do so. I mean, I do it with most of my stuff anyway. Uh, clean it, put run, run it through the Sonic cleaner. Uh, but yeah, it does need sonically cleaning or washing thoroughly before you use it, and it will get rid of uh, the, the machine oil off the RDA. 
and five mil as well and you can take it out and about with you because the airflow holes are at the top this does not leak it does not leak at all you know even if you over squonk and if you over squonk it it all it's doing is it's just because you've got double o-rings here it's just filling up but if you over squonk it the the, the your vape will be uh very very saturated and a bit wet and it'll be it might spit at you so just be careful of over squonking uh, because sometimes when you've used it it does mist up the glass does and you can't see so i've i've you can't see how much juice you're putting on sometimes so i just do like three or four squonks and that's normally okay for a, a short while And it's working perfect. I've compared it in size wise. That's an Aspire Triton that many people have probably had. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to get my big fat fingers out of the way. It's roughly the same height as the Triton. In fact, it's a bit smaller than the Triton with the Triton's drip tip. Uh, so, you know, it's not overly. It's not, that's a, it's not overly hard at all at all. That's a phantom. As you can see. And what else have I got? Uh, just a Kanga tank that everybody's got. Same size, roughly as a Kanga tank. Same height, just a bit taller. So yeah, and it's a fantastic and I've been using it on my snow wolf it's been sitting on my snow wolf ever since I've had it which was about four days three four days ago now and it's really really good it's sort of lived on there uh, obviously the snow wolf type logo on there does match up with me logo on here but it's fantastic excuse me so we'll take one quick last vape and then we'll run through where, where you get it from again Fantastic. And that snake oil is fantastic in here as well. Great stuff that. So guys, www.boldvapor.co.uk is where you can get it from. It is priced currently when it arrives. Stock's due to arrive, like I say, on Tuesday the 20th of October. Uh, it's currently priced at £14.20. You can add it to the cart and pre-order it now. Uh, so, as you get, so as you sort of guarantee that you get one. Because these will fly out like the first batch did. Uh, it's called the Fountain V2. Uh, bottom fed RTA. But I never saw the V1. And I never saw the Authentic. And I've, I've, re I've tried to research the Authentic as well. So uh, that's that. And it's a simple package guys. You know. Uh, standard stuff in there. Good that you get a spare glass. The negative for me is that you don't get a spare bottle uh, which would be probably i would say i'm guessing now it's, it's quite hard to source one of these bottles for this but at 14 pounds 20 you may as well you know if, it, if if my bottle broke or something broke on it and i couldn't replace it i'd just buy another one because they're not overly expensive but hopefully uh, i'll go speak to john and see if we can get some uh, if we can uh, or if john can or if I can even, if I if I can source any, I will put a link up on the Approved Vapors Facebook group, which I'm affiliated to, and I'm admin on. I shall put a link up on there, but yeah, great if we can get some of these little these little plastic bottles. Or if anybody knows, please comment in my YouTube video. But it's, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, a 10 out of 10. It is, a, it is a 10 out of 10. It's a great, great RTA, and... And for the first time, me squonking, it's it's just like the perfect takeout RDA because it doesn't leak. Uh, you've got five mil of juice to go at, and it's and, you know I'm just banging this out at forty watts. Fantastic! So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in my next review. Thank you.